Hey everyone, this is ACJ. Due to the numerous amounts of questions concerning EasyCare and its setup, I've decided to make an FAQ video on some questions I have been posted. Remember, this setup of EasyCare is for TVs with audio and video output. If you do not have them, I will post details in the description on how to set up without output. If I did not answer a question that you really needed, please feel free to leave it a comment and I will go back to you shortly. Okay, so I've had a, quite a few questions come in, ranging from uh, what it actually does to what it can record. So I'm just going to list off some uh, questions now, and uh, we'll see how we go and see if I can answer them. Okay, so the first question comes in: What does this setup actually do? Okay, so what this setup does is it's plugging the uh, capturing device in the same way you would do with a VCR or DVD player, um, and it's recording the output or whatever it's showing on the television. So, this gets to my next question, can you rec is it only just the Xbox you can record? Well, no, it can record a lot more than just the Xbox, it can record TV to standard DVDs, anything like that, um, to anything to consoles, it, as it's, it's recording the pure output of the TV, and whatever it's showing on at the time, so, if it's showing something on television, it can pretty much record it. Um, will this setup affect my quality? No, it will not affect it in, in that sense. This setup will not reduce the quality compared to other setups. The quality depends on how good of quality your TV input is. is. So, if it's HD in or whatever, um, and what the compression um, you are using to record it in. So, if you're using AVR compression at the other end, it will uh, uh, decrease it than a raw firewood. Um, so, that's, that's the question for quality. Um, what if I don't have output on my television? Well, if you don't have Apple on, on your Apple connections on television, there is other ways um, to get it set up to record. Other ways, including getting splitters, um, which are these little dongle things that split the input into two. Um, so you can uh, split the incoming input, which in my case is my Xbox, into two of everything. So you can have two audio, two video, and two left and right audio, like I said before. Um, so then you plug one set into the TV, so you can watch it properly as normal, and then the other set um, will go into the EasyCat. I'm not sure, because I've not done this before, but if the quality decreases because you're splitting it twice, uh, I'm not actually sure. I've never done it before, but there's other setups on the actual uh, YouTube that you can find out. I will list a complete tutorial on how to do it in the description as well, um, for you pe for people that have output. Okay, so does this setup record audio? Yes, this uh, setup records full audio if this setup has been completed right. So if you've plugged in all the connections right, um, it will record audio correctly. Can this capture in color? Many, many easy caps uh, end out capturing in black and white, and some people can seem to get it work, and some can't. So this setup has been proven to work in color, but for some it may not work still. I will post a video description of a proven way to record it in color uh, in the description as well. It's one that I've done previously before, which I've been able to get it set up in color, and people have followed it and have also been able to set up in color as well. Um, and this is other questions, a long one, but can this play in HD? Can I use a HDMI cable instead of the RCA cables? Yes, if you have an app on intelligent, it, it records pretty much anything you put into it. So if it's HDMI or HDR, it doesn't matter what you put in, it will record, unlike the splitters where you only can have RCA cables going in and um, to the TV to record it, this will pretty much record anything. So HDMI, you know, that, you know. Um, so how does this EasyCat work? Do you have to plug it in the computer or does it record itself? Um, EasyCat works by transforming the RCA input that's receiving, so that's the Xbox console, whatever we want, we want to put in, into an output that the computer can receive by USB. So, pretty much just transferring the RCA to USB. Um, the computer sees the EasyCat as a device similar to the web webcam, and it's it, as it's like a streaming constant video, similar to the webcam, and it has audio and video, so just like the web webcam. So, pretty much, they're very, very similar to the webcam. And you can't just record off a webcam without plugging into the computer, so it's it, you can't record by itself. That's, that's the main thing. You have to have a connection to a computer, um, and you have to use like programs to record it with. Um, and that, that comes to my next question: Does this come with software? Yes, the version of EasyCap that I bought 
um, came with editing and capturing software called Ulead. Um, it's a pretty powerful uh, editor for intermediate use, so people not using it like not not, not proper producers, but people who don't do too much editing. It's pretty powerful for that. Um, it's up there. Um, sure beats uh, Windows Movie Maker, of course, but uh, I find it's weak and unreliable when recording. Um, so I actually use other programs called AMCAP, um, which can also be downloaded free. I will link, I'll post a link in the description as well to download that. But I pretty much use that to record it, and sometimes I might use Ulead or I might use other programs a bit more advanced than Ulead to edit the, the, uh, the actual programs. Um, can you plug directly into the console in, into EasyCat? Um, yes, it's possible, but not desirable. Um, as if you're, you're relaying the, uh, if you want to relay like the the, the input as a uh, use your computer monitor as a TV, it's not desirable at all because there's a clear delay of a couple of seconds to a second of what's actually happening on the actual the uh, the output end. So whatever your Xbox is, it'll happen like a second later on your computer because it has to do go through rendering and it has to go through transformation. So it's not desirable to. Uh, watch it on your your computer monitor through this so it's not something I would do but you can do it um, many people say well this is the only way you can work yada 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 no I, I would I wouldn't do this I would use either these splitters or these are method I'm talking about where where each where you can use the uh, TV the proper display okay so that wraps up all my questions that I have so far that have been um, sent to me if you have any more questions feel free to uh, send them in I will uh, answer them it's just, if you add a comment or whatever send a PM I'm sure to add them up and uh, answer them for you so yep thank you guys uh, rate and subscribe I will catch you guys later with more videos coming soon see you guys